Everyone, this is Mr. Clown Zero One. Today we're looking at the set of Vinylmation of. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Mr. Clown Zero One, and today we're looking at the set of Disney characters and Star Wars characters. It's a Vinylmation series. I don't really know of a better name for it. Uh, I wish I did, because that's very awkward to say. Uh, here we have all six of them, real briefly. We have Stitch as Yoda, Mickey as Luke Skywalker, X-wing pilot, Donald Duck as a stormtrooper. Minnie as Princess Leia, Pete as Boba Fett, and Goofy as Darth Vader. Now the boxing of these is fairly generic, so we're just going to pick one. We're going to pick Donald and take a look at the boxing. Let's put these in the back. You can see on the top we have Star Wars Vinylmation. And we can see the character fairly well in the front. My complaint about this is there's no decorations in the back. It would have been nice to have maybe some white or something so or you know black depending on which character it is so um the colors would pop out a little but the gray it just doesn't look that good to me this side we have more on the back we have this the other complaint is i like it when they put all the characters in the series on the back now you know maybe when they released this they, were, they didn't know how many were in the set i don't know but nonetheless i like having all the pictures back there the bottom these are a little bit higher. These were $14.95 each. Originally, I was going to pass them up, but I was at Star Wars Weekend and picked these up. And they just grew on me the more I looked at them. So, what we're going to do is unpackage each of them. Take a look at them one by one. You can see what kind of packaging it is. I'm going to open this one for you. This is Donald, the Stormtrooper. Now, it's not collector friendly because as soon as you have to rip this up to open it. But... That's okay. Still, nice pop on the top. Pull the bottom and he's out. Okay. So let's look. Let's take him out. He pops out very easily. And he has an accessory. That's a nice touch on this one. Comes with a blaster. So let's zoom in on him. Go around him real quick. Nice touch of the tail back there. And on the bottom, you can see it says Vinylmation as always, and Maria Klapsis was the artist on this one. She was on all the ones in the series. And this is Star Wars Donald a Stormtrooper. I guess that's the name, there's no better name for it. But I'm curious, how well does he hold? This is the new mold. And I have a minor complaint too because the, uh, the bill looks a little stretched out on this one to me. But it is the mold. Let's see how well he holds the blaster. Because the new mold's supposed to hold him better. But first of all, I guess we'll look at the blaster first. There's a lot of detail on this, much more than I ever expected. You have nice paint ops on the side, a little red there at the end. That's paint ops on the side. You even have a little paint ops on the uh, handle for texturing. And even back there, if you can see it. Very nice. So let's put it in Donald's hand. And see how well he holds it. Seems to be holding it fairly well. There he is. Let's give you another spin around of him. I really like the detail on this one. Like I've said. So there we have Donald Duck as a Stormtrooper. We have Mickey Mouse as Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. I really like this one. This is one of the ones that I first looked at and thought I wanted. I really like the detail on it and the, the helmet. I think also a lot of times the Mickey faces look a little too stretched out on this new mold. The helmet gives it a more compact look and I think he looks really good. Also the ears are used appropriately and a lot of times they just put stars or whatever up there. So, spin him around. Again, on the bottom, artist name is Maria Klapsis. And this one we have some nice uh, Rebel logos on. I did notice Donald, I didn't point it out, but if you notice, Donald had the uh, Imperial logo down there. So let's put the, his lightsaber in his hand and see how he holds it. Should hold it pretty well. This is really kind of an interesting accessory. It's more like a club. 
It's very different than the ones that were in the original Star Wars series. But this should go in his hand very nicely. But it, yeah, it does look more like a club, like it's old in the Billy Club or something there, but still he has an accessory. I'm glad whoa, I'm glad he has an accessory. So there we have Mickey Mouse has Luke Skywalker X Wing pilot. Goofy has Darth Vader. A couple of the first complaint I have on this one is he didn't come with a lightsaber. I'm guessing they decided his accessory would be his cape. Which is a nice, it's a nice touch. Now, I tried to take this off and without manhandling the figure, I don't think it's going to come off. Now what I do like is it's a, it's a tough plastic, it's not rubbery. On the bottom again, Maria Clapsis, and maybe you can see the Imperial logos there, maybe you can't. But they are there. And the other minor complaint is you can't see his ears. Um, I'm guessing they're hidden under the helmet. You can kind of see the outline of the helmet a little bit. Maybe, hopefully. Hopefully the camera picks that up. Around his head. To me, Goofy has always been kind of a challenge on the Vinylmation. There's, I think it was Park Series 3 or 4 had a really, really nice Goofy. Most of the others, they're okay, but I really like that one where the ears were, where Goofy's ears were up here in the mouse ears. Let's give you another. Another thing they did a really nice job of is the the paint detail is really nice on the uh, little box here and his belt. It's really crisp and clear. So there we have Darth Vader, or Goofy has Darth Vader. Here we have Pete as Boba Fett. Now he doesn't have a handheld accessory either. I'm guessing the accessory here is his backpack, which is very, very nice. It's always cool, just like it was on the uh, one in the Star Wars series. This one looks a little crooked to me. I don't know if it's just mine or they're all that way. It could be it was done that way for fun. I don't, I don't know. I couldn't straighten it. I tried. Now one thing I noticed is on the bottom, again we have Maria Clapsis' name. And the little logo here isn't an Imperial logo. It's that logo right there. It's on his chest. And y'all are going to have to help me out. I don't know what that is. If anyone knows what that is, leave a comment in the show notes and let me know. I'm guessing it's some sort of Bounty Hunter logo. It's got really nice paint detail. I like the Wookiee scalps here. I, say, I really wish they would have given him, just like Darth Vader, a, uh, a blaster. But uh, it's a nice figure nonetheless. So that's Pete as Boba Fett. Here we have Minnie Mouse's Princess Leia Organa. She has no accessory either. They could have given her a blaster, but I guess they count the uh, buns on her head as an accessory. Which they do look very nice there. Nice paint detail on them. One thing I really like is the little smirk they gave her on her face. And also, this one, you know, like I said, a lot of times has with Mickey, has with Minnie, the faces is too big and round. These work for me. I'm guessing maybe the buns on the side of the head kind of draw your attention differently. I, I don't know. And again on the bottom, Maria Claps, this is the artist, and we have the uh, Rebel logo on either side there. So that's Minnie Mouse as Princess Leia Organa. We have Stitch as Yoda. Typically, Yoda is my favorite character, and I usually like Stitch. Stitch is usually Yoda. This one, the face just looks off to me. It doesn't look much like Stitch or Yoda. But let's take a look at him. And he does come with an accessory. He comes with his walking stick. This is basically just a... Uh, plastic, piece of brown plastic with some wood detailing. I wish they would have gave, made it more, first of all I wish he would have had a little um, hook on the end like Yoda's had. And I wish they would have made it not so smooth but made it more, you know, wood-like I guess. So let's see how well he holds it. Okay, this one's kind of rough. There he goes, there he goes. So there he is with his accessory. Give you a different view of him from the side. So there we have Stitch's Yoda. 
super special. This figure is kind of special. I uh, when I was at Disney World during Star Wars weekend, Maria Clapsis was there, and they were signing the figures. Okay, so I got her to sign this one for me. Now, when you when I first got there, they said she was signing the packages unless you opened it. So I didn't really want her to sign here because. I don't live in that area and you know, travel and stuff. I was afraid the box would get all beat up. And I like to take my figures out of the package and look at them. So that wasn't really going to work. So they said basically if you want her to sign the figure, take it out and she'll sign what you hand her. So I did. And you can see she signed it right there on the back of his head. That is Maria Clapp's signature. It's very cool to have one signed by the artist. This is the only one I have. Now also a word if you ever go there and see it. She was signing different ones different ways. Like a friend of mine who was there with me got Minnie Mouse and he, she signed hers right here. And I was a little disappointed in that. I like this better. It's a bigger signature. You can see it more. The Minnie and the, and the ear just didn't look very good. but. Nonetheless, it's still it's really cool to have one signed by the artist. So what I'll probably do is always display this one backwards, so you can whoa, so you can see the signature. The set of vinylmations of Disney characters as Star Wars characters. Um, pretty much concludes our look at it. Um, do y'all have a favorite of these? Let me know which. Leave a comment in notes. Let me know what y'all think of them. Personally, this is one of the nicest sets. I like this better than the original Star Wars set. To me, it's more fun. But let me know what y'all think. Leave a comment in the show notes. And as always, have a great day.